Be careful when mining at night, there may be monsters about. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 mobs in Minecraft. For this list, we're looking at some of the creatures that inhabit our favorite sandbox universes. Some won't bother you if you don't provoke them, others will attack you no matter what. The circle or cube of life as we know it. Also, we won't be covering any big time monsters like the Ender Dragon since they're boss enemies, not actual mobs. I steered the foul beast toward the third crystal. Number 10, Wolves. Here you go, boy. Please like it, please like it, please like it. These furry little canines can be found in three different biomes, usually traveling in packs. They're neutral at first, only attacking rabbits, sheep, baby turtles, and skeletons, but if you attack one, the hostile pup and its pack will go berserk on you. If you give a bone to a wild wolf, a collar will appear around its neck, and you'll have your very own loyal canine companion who will follow you until you tell it to sit and attack nearly anything that threatens you. Be sure to treat your dog right by feeding them meat and rotten flesh when they're feeling winded. Or, if you'd like, breed two trained wolves to make a puppy. Aw, oh, that's cute. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. Number 9. Evokers The Illagers are a brand of humanoid, hostile mobs mostly found in woodland mansions. Among them is the Evoker, an unfriendly magician with some fiendish tricks up its sleeve. One of its nastiest spells is the Fang Attack, where it conjures killer fangs to attack the player with a powerful bite. The Evoker can also magically summon Vexes, horrid winged demons that can strike from the skies. Strangely enough, when not assaulting players, the Evoker will usually try to turn blue sheep red. Sure, whatever keeps them occupied. If you're lucky enough to strike this rejected villager down, you'll be rewarded with the Totem of Undying, a handy trinket for cheating death. Number 8. Zombie Pigmen We all know about the humdrum regular zombies that attack the player at night before burning up in the sunlight. However, the zombie pigmen are in a class of their own. They're born in the nether, or in the rare chance that lightning strikes a regular pig, and are immune to fire and sun. As long as they're not provoked, they're pretty harmless, wandering aimlessly around with golden swords in hand. However, if you assault even one of them, it and its neighboring buddies will swarm all over you. Fighting an army is not advised, but if you can slay one of them, your reward is either rotten flesh or gold. Number 7. Shulkers. Like this really weird little sort of blocky type thing. You can see that they're sticking on the walls there. Oh, you're attacking your buddy. Shulkers are small hostile mobs encased in an unbreakable shell and can only be found in the cities within the Eerie End mission. Their shells help them blend in amongst the purple blocks and they'll mostly stay in place unless they need to teleport to a new sturdy surface. If a player gets too close, the shulker fires a target-seeking bullet that causes their foe to levitate into the air for a few seconds, easily cured by milk, but beware of a rough landing. Once they're defeated, you can walk away with their sturdy shells and use them to craft shulker boxes, portable storage units that can hold your goodies even after being broken. This is so strange. Okay, so as you can see, they kind of like open up. Oh, I died. Number six, spider jockeys. I'm not red. Ah! Two monstrous heads are better than one. There is an almost impossibly rare chance that a spider will spawn with a skeleton riding on its back, dubbing it the Spider Jockey. By combining the spider speed and wall crawling abilities with the skeleton's sharp archery skills, it is a formidable mob to tangle with. Since it's two monsters in one, if one of the two is destroyed, the other will keep going in its place. Such as if a skeleton burns up in the sun, leaving the spider behind. If you can kill both halves of this gruesome twosome, you could earn twice as much loot, including bones, bows and arrows, string, or spider eyes. <laughs> Number 5. Guardians It's an underwater hostile mob and resembles a giant pufferfish-like creature which inhabits and defends the treasures of the ocean monument. Beware when you swim in the seas of the ocean biome, as you might run into these angry little sentries. 
guardians are the pufferfish-like watchmen of the ocean monuments, alongside their bigger and deadlier counterpart, the Elder Guardian. When an intruder stumbles on their temple, the guardians can attack with long-ranged eye lasers or defend themselves with their poisonous spikes. The elders can also dull your mining abilities to protect the treasures hidden within their kingdom. Do not approach these monsters without the proper equipment, but if you do face them and emerge triumphant, your reward could be either various fish or rare underwater goodies such as pieces of prismarine. They are also covered by 12 spines, and if you attack them whilst those spines are protruding, you will take a small amount of damage. Number 4. Blazes Their mob spawners are in one particular type of room surrounded by fences. The blaze has a few different attacks. In the dark and forbidding fortress within the nether, these dimly lit ghosts can be found floating through the halls of these structures. Once its enemy's been spotted, the blaze sets itself ablaze. Ah, see what we did there. And throws three fireballs at the player, setting the target and surrounding the area on fire. Obviously, approaching these flaming phantoms is near impossible without getting burnt. Your best bet is to wait until they recharge or make a move, or pelt them with snowballs. Once they're extinguished for good, you'll be rewarded with blaze rods, a rare material that's needed if you want to brew potions or want an Eye of Ender. Number 3. Ghasts They've been around in Minecraft as early as Alpha. They used to be the largest mob in the game until the Ender Dragon was added in Beta 1.9. Drifting high above the nether is the enormous, shrieking, ghoulish hostel, the Ghast. What's extra creepy about these giants is that their screeching never quiets down with distance, putting you in a constant state of paranoia as to where they might be. Once a Ghast has its sights on you, it'll spit a large fireball at you from a far range, leaving a fiery crater upon impact. Keep cover as much as possible if you attempt to confront these ghouls, and your best strategy is to try to shoot them down with an arrow or deflect the fireballs with your sword. If you're successful, your reward could be gunpowder or a guest's tear. When a fireball clashes with netherrack, it will make a small crater with a chance of the netherrack catching fire from the explosion. Number 2. Endermen That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. The Enderman is a tall, black, eerie being from the End Dimension. Unprovoked, the Endermen mind their own business, picking up blocks and moving them around. But if you look it in the eyes, it won't hesitate to strike. They have teleporting abilities, which make them very difficult to fight against. However, they get hurt when they come near water. Personally, we'd recommend not provoking these ghouls, but if you're feeling bold enough, be sure to don a pumpkin mask disguise so you can make eye contact without aggravating it. Once it's been slain, the beast can leave behind the Ender Pearl, which teleports a player wherever it's tossed. Everyone now! Kent, come on! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Creepers what started as a failed pig mob turned into one of the game's most recognizable and dangerous creations. Keeping true to its name, the creeper creeps around maps, never making a sound. But when it gets too close, it emits a hissing noise and then, boom, it explodes, damaging both you and your hard work. If on the slim chance lightning supercharges a creeper, the blast is even more deadly. Fighting from afar is the safest bet, but well-timed melee strikes also work wonders, granting you gunpowder upon your victory. It also doesn't hurt to have a feline nearby, since the creepers are afraid of cats and ocelots. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.